All right, now that my mic isn't muted, hello and welcome. This is my first time streaming, or technically my second, we had some technical issues earlier. Uh, I believe I got them ironed out. If there's any jitter or any problems with the video or audio, please let me know, uh, and we can get this started. Um, I like to call this little portion that I'm starting out on, uh, let's try this shit out. I'm going to play different games that have been rotting on my Steam's list that I bought when they were on sale during Steam summer sales throughout the years, and some of them haven't even been installed. Some of them I turned on, and that's pretty much it. They're all games that I feel I should play, so I thought I'd start the series to play through some of them. Today we're going to start off with a game I like to call, or a game that is called Cloud Built. It's a game I was actually following for a little bit. It looked really interesting. I liked its art style. So today I'll be playing a little bit of that. I will be using the controller instead of the mouse and keyboard. For me, preferably, I like the precision when I'm playing, you know, first person shooters and whatnot, but when I need to look around and jump and platform, I prefer a controller. I just feel like I have more control over my jumps. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Cloud Built is, it's a like runner slash third person shooter slash like time trial type of game. Uh, you run through a series of obstacle courses, which one thing I noticed while playing through the first couple tutorial levels is they have a lot of really cool, um, kind of like you're just given an obstacle course and you get to choose your own way through it. There's not like you go this way and then you go this way, go up that wall and you're at the end. It's kind of just like, here's a bunch of shit. Have fun getting through it on your own. All right, so let's jump into the game. Ta-da! All right. Again, I've done the first level, and I've done the first other tutorial level, I guess you could still call it, because it still kind of teaches you how to play the game. So we're just going to skip into one of the levels that are not, or I don't think are tutorial anyway. And let's see how well I do. I did not do the best earlier, but since I've been testing it using this game all day, hopefully it should go relatively not as bad. Um, we're just going to do regular right now because, again, I barely played this game. I am by no means good at the game. <laughs> I mean, I think the best rank I got is a B, and that is, like, after trying the same stage over, like, 16 times <laughs> while I was testing my audio and visual things. So let's see how this goes. Okay, a couple of things you have at your disposal is you have, like, a boost. The bottom meter there will be your boost meter. Um, the left meter is your health. You can jump, boost, you can do like a very tiny double jump. You can run on walls and grab onto ledges. You also have your little gun which charges. Uh, you have to open gates and sometimes kill enemies, which I haven't seen a ton of enemies, but that's probably again some on the beginning stages. I'll just go this way. This way seems a little safer. Easier. I'll take the easy route for the first little bit so I can get my bearings back. And then I'll force myself to go through what looks to be the harder places. Let's see. Yeah, this, way. this way looks fantastic. Oh. YOLO it! That was a terrible idea! Oh, and. Also, I forgot to tell you, there are checkpoints like these. They're generally not in the best place, but if you look in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, you also get a set of your own checkpoints. The game just kind of lets you place them wherever you feel the need. Of course, being how you're graded on your time that it takes you to get through the level, it does take quite a bit of time to drop one. Here, I'll show you in a second. So, you know, it's a solid, like, five seconds you have to just stand there. Oh, sorry. And you also get, apparently, a plus three negative to your time whenever you drop your own. But, again, depending on what's happening and how hard a certain jump is, it might just be easier to take that three second penalty than stand there and die and have to redo a fourth of the stage just to get to the part you need to practice. And there is, I forgot to tell you, for those of you who don't know, apparently with Twitch, just they started doing this thing where there's a 20 to 30 second lag, depending on if you're on a mobile device or a PC. So I will be checking the chat in between rounds and trying to interact with you guys. 
assuming that there's people there, but just so, like, I, I'm not ignoring you. It's just currently I only have one screen. I will have a second screen once my uncle is done borrowing it, but for the time being, I don't have an other screen to check your chat, and it'll probably be, like I said, around 20 to 30 seconds before I actually even can hear my response. So I'm not ignoring you. I'm just, I'm just going with what I got right now. In the future, once I get my screen back, I will have a double screen. I will see your chat right away so I could respond in a timely manner. You know, again, with the 30 to 20 second lag, there will always be some time between when I get your message and when you hear my response. But again, feel free to chat. That would be great. I would love feedback. This is my, again, like I said, my first time doing that, doing this kind of thing. So I'm hoping you guys will enjoy it. It's the first level. I did surprisingly a lot better than I expected. See, kind of great. A C, reasonable. A C is okay. I am okay with a C. Let me check the chat real quick. All right, all right. Let's continue on. We will go to the next level. Also, or I'll just let you listen to this first. Nothing? Okay, normally there's a narrative there. Apparently the storyline, which I didn't even realize or didn't expect this game to have a storyline. I thought it was going to be more arcadey thing, but apparently you're the... You're like the mental remnant of the lady laying in the bed and you were injured in some war and right now your body's unconscious and you're trying to remember or recall what happened. So there's that. It's kind of sad, but happens. War's tough. All right, let's go on to, should we continue down this path? Um. I'm gonna go down here, just to see what both branches have to offer. I think I attempted this stage earlier and it, I didn't get very far. Alright. I totally ended that up. I'll go a little bit of an easier track. Yeah, this... No, no, this wasn't the part that I messed up. Alright, alright. See, I don't quite know how to get up there. And then I just turn around and do it. Whatever, the old old sweat. I'm just kind of, I don't really know what's going on or which direction. I'm just kind of going whatever way looks, uh, I want that. Looks appealing. No, no, no. I let my greed get the better of me. All right, we try, we try. Oh, whatever. Change, change of plan, change of plan. Mixing it up. Now I understand why that wall is there. And then I totally botched it. My time's gonna be horrendous now. But I'm determined. Oh, there's there is it. There are spikes on the top of that wall. <laughs> Alright. But there's uh, that is one thing I do like about this game also. It, it doesn't seem to hold your hand through anything. These are, again, like the beginning, like right out of the tutorial levels. And even though they're not particularly difficult, if they're the starting point, there's definitely probably going to be a lot of difficult situations you'll have to deal with the rest of the game. Which I like, because too many games nowadays, in my opinion, like hold your hand through everything or 
are just too easy in general. I like my games with a bit of challenge. That was a little terrifying because I was not sure where I was going to land if there was a landing pad. <laughs> You could probably wrap around instead of going the direction that Oh no! The purple thingy! Mine! Amy! Okay, cool. I get another chance at the sweet slide. And I'm just... Alright. Alright, taking it like a man. And dying. Fantastic. Just literally fell for the exact same mistake twice. Let's, let's, let's try this. Nope, nope. Nope, nope. Whole lot of nope. There we go. In the bag! Suspense! What did I get? I got a C again. Respectable. Unlocked another level. That's always nice. Alright, now I think there's gonna be some narrative. What sort of message could there possibly be in all this? I've seen the veterans who have gone through these repairs. They live decent lives, as decent as life gets while the war is still raging. But they are not fit for combat. So why am I thrust back onto a battlefield every time I leave the room? On the other hand, it's all very different. The events that brought me here couldn't happen in this world. Everything is within reach here. It reminds me of what I imagined when I first heard of the concept of military cybernetics as a kid. But when I enlisted, those thoughts were far behind me. So why are they surfacing again now of all times? Alright. Let's see. It's been about 15 minutes. I'm gonna take a quick break. And then we will continue playing some more Cloud Built. Alright, be back in a few.